Welcome to part two of the conversion video. So we, in this part, we're gonna to continue to talk about how to convert from MIPS instructions to machine code. So in the last video, we talked about R format. So uh, let's start with I format in this video. Okay. So let's recap in I format, we have also 32 bits, right? And remember how many fields? Yes, four fields, right? Okay, so what do we have here for each field? Opcode, RS, RT, and finally, immediate. Okay, so this is I format. So let's use one example. Okay, so let's use OR I. Okay, and then V0. A1 and let's use 20. Okay, so this is the instruction. Okay, so what's next? Again, go to the MIP sheets. So let's switch the screen to the MIP sheets again and then take a look at what we have in MIP sheets and look for all I. Okay, so now we are in MIP sheet and look through all I or edit and you can see the opcode right and what does that do it takes what in what is in rs do the or operation with the immediate and it's a zero extension so we'll talk more about that when we talk about hardware so don't worry about the zero extension thing yet because again the immediate is 16 bits right and we need 32 bits so how do we make the value 32 bits by adding zeros in front of it, okay? So this is zero extension. And let's say the result into RT. So from here, we can see which one is RS, which one is RT, okay? And we have V0 and A1. So V0 register two, A1 register five. So now we know how to translate those values, okay? The register value. So let's go back to the Note. All right. So I have V0, which so let's rewrite it into register number. V0 is register 2, A1 is register 5, and 20 is just immediate, right? And what is the ORI opcode? Opcode is hexadecimal D, right? So given that information, Let's fill in the blank. Opcode RS RT immediate, right? And opcode is D. So I put O zero X in front of it so that I can tell this is um, hexadecimal number. Okay, what is RT now? Or RS here? So remember, you take the all operation with rs so let me use another color so that it's easier to see have rs right and then all with the integer right immediate and then save it into rt okay so now let's fill in the blanks again rs will be 5 rt will be 2 and then 20 that's all right Next, write that into zeros and ones. And since I need 32 bits, I make the box bigger. So what is D? D is 13, right? So I have two bits, I mean, two, uh, six bits, right? So I have zero, zero, one, one, zero, one. So that's D, five with five bits. So again, you have six, five, five, 16 bits, right? So five is just zero, zero, one, zero, one. Two will be zero, 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 one, zero. Now, 20. Well, you need to do it fast again, okay? So 20 is what? 20 equals to 16 plus four, right? So I have four, and then 16 is what? Just two more, right? So let me group them into four so that it's easy to see. I have four. And then this bit is eight, and then I have 16, right? 
and then the rest are zero. Four, one, two, three, four. So I have 16 bits. So this is 20. See? This is 20. Okay. Next, group them into groups of four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right? Now you write the answer. Three, four, a two zero zero one four. Okay, so this is how we convert the hex the MIPS code into binary or machine code. So we have the answer will be zero x three four a two zero zero one four. That's your answer. Sounds good. All right, so if you want, you can redo the same exa exercise, turn off the video, and then just redo the same problem and see whether you get the same answer. Okay. All right, so now let's take a look at another example. Okay, so let's see. What else is I format? What do you think? How about this one? Is it I format? Yes, right? because you have the label. Remember we talked about this is address relative, right? PC relative. So how does it work? Okay, so since I'm giving you the label, which means that you know, you need to know where the label is, okay? So now let me give you extra information of this program. I have one line, two line, three line, four line. Okay, and then this is my label. Okay, so the label locates at four lines below my branch instruction. Sounds good? So remember, when you um, encode or convert this branch instruction into MIPS, it is an I format, right? And I have for information, opco, rs, rt, and immediate. Okay, so we know that to do the comparison, we need rs, rt, right? And then from the MIPS sheets, um, I'm not going to switch to the screen anymore. So, so for BEQ, if you look at the MIPS sheets, it's going to be four as your opcode. But what about label? What is label? Label is the address, right? Of this line. How long, how many bits are in the address? 32 bits. And how many bits can we put in the immediate? 16 bits, right? So which means that I have to cut it about in half, which is a lot, right? So it doesn't make sense. So that's why instead of using the real address, what do we do? We count how many lines um, between the, in, the instruction and the label. So how do we count? Remember, start from the next line. Okay, so we start from next line and then count one, two, three. So the third line will be your label. So always count from the next line. And in the later of the semester, when we talk about the actual CPU, we'll, we'll see why we always count from the next line, okay? So what if the label is before the instruction? Now you just count back, always count from the next line. So now backward means negative, that's all. Okay, so in this case, um, let's write the register number so that we can fill in the box. Okay, so what is S0? S0 is 16, right? And then S1 is 17. So now you just fill in the blank. I have four, well, hexadecimal or bind, uh, base 10 is still the same four, right? RS 16 and then RT 17. 
And what about immediate? Immediate will be this three. Okay, so just count one, two, three from the next line. Okay, so this is the third line, so you put the three. And that's all. And now all you need to do is just to combine the binary. Okay, so four with six bits. So I have, so again, six, five, five, 16, right? So remember the number of bits, they are very important. Otherwise your machine code will be off. So you have six bits, two, three, four, five, six, five with five bits. Oh, this, no, you're not doing six, you're doing four. Okay. And then 16 is five bits, right? So one, two, three, four, five, 17. Okay. What about three? Three is straightforward, right? So you have zero, zero, one, one, and then you have 12 more zero. Okay, and that's your machine code. Next, write that into your hexadecimal. Group them into four. Oh, I really like this marker. So colorful. Okay, next, convert each group. One, two, one, one, zero, 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 three. And that's your hexadecimal. One, two, one, one, zero, zero, three. And that's your answer. So once again, so again, pause the video and then work on the same problem and see whether you get, get the same answer. Okay, so, so far we've been using positive number as our immediate, right? So in this example, I have 20. In the branch example, we use three. So why don't we use one example to illustrate negative numbers? Okay, just, I know. You really enjoy converting negative numbers into binary, right? So let's use an, another example. Let's use just add i, okay? Add i, t0, t1, let's use negative three, okay? So just for simplicity's sake. Okay, so first of all, convert that into Register number T zero is eight, right? Is that right? T zero is eight, right? So yes, I have eight. And then T one is nine and then negative three. Okay, so what about at i? At i's op code is just hexadecimal eight, which is the same as base 10, eight, okay, so from the leaf sheets. Okay, so now draw out the box. Um, code, RS, RT, immediate. Okay, so now what? Register eight and register nine, which one is RS, which one is RT? So again, RT is always, um, most of the time, okay, not always, most of the time, with I format, RT is the register to store the result. So, which means that which one, which register is used to store the result? The first register, right? Okay, good. So now opcode A, and then RS9, RT8, immediate negative three. Okay, so now the last, Convert them into binary. Okay. Six, five, five, sixteen. Okay. So eight, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Nine, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one. Nope, no, that's only five bits. And eight, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. So remember, each field has a certain number of bits. So make sure you don't have extra bits or missing bits. Otherwise your final machine code will be off. Okay. okay, so now the question is, how do you convert negative three into zero and one? Uh -huh. Remember that in first midterm? In computer programming, 
Negative integer is always using what conversion? Sign magnitude? One complement, two complement, or bias? Two complements, right? So let's find out what two complements of negative three is, okay? So in order to find negative three, let's start with three, okay? To find negative three, start with three. So let's do that. So what is three? Just so yes, let's use four bits. So we don't have to use all 16 bits because they are all zeros anyway. Maybe use all zeros to fit the 16 bits, okay? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is three. Okay. So how do you do two complements okay, to get negative three from a positive three? So again, two complements is to find the negative value, right? Or to describe a negative value. So you start from three, and what do you do? You flip. So you have one, 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 zero, zero. And what do you do? Add one, right? I should, I should do it here. Add one. So you have one, zero, one, one. So, okay, so you're just adding the flip version, not the two lines, okay? And then one, 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 one. So this is your negative three, okay? So in order to find negative three, you just flip the positive three, add one to it, okay? Just like how you know a negative number from a binary, you just flip and add one, same idea, right? So again, but Two's complements are always used to describe negative numbers. So you have that. Okay, so your answer would be one 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 too many ones. One one zero one. Sounds good? Okay. Next is to group them. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, nine, three, six. Something's wrong. Oh, here. Like this. Okay, so I have this. One, two, three, four. So you can see that since th they are totally 32 bits, so it should be divisible by four. So if it's not, oops, something's wrong with your bit. So you, you're probably missing one bit or extra bits. Okay, so, so you have to make sure that you have totally 32 bit. Okay, all right, so your answer will be. 0x, 2, 2, 2, that's interesting. No, it's not 2. Okay. 2, 1, 2, actually. Right? Two. Yeah, too many zeros and ones. Okay, 2, 1, 2, and then 8, F, 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 D. Okay, so far so good. So this is your answer, 2128FFFD. And this is the machine code for your MIPS, okay, which is FI. Okay. So that's good. All right, so now let's do the final example, J. Okay. So for J format, how do you partition your machine code. Just two fields, right? You don't have anything else. You have your opcode, you have your address, right? Or label. Okay, so you know opcode six bits. So how many bits can you use to store your address? Only 26. So now we again have a problem now because address is 32 bits and we only have 26 bit slot to store. So what can we do? So we need to trim six bits away, okay? So let's use an example. So what are the examples of J instruction? If you look at the MIP sheets, pretty much just two, J and JAL, right? So let's use JAL, okay? JAL label, okay? And assume um, the, la the label's address. Oops, what am I doing? 
labels address is two four six eight one three four eight so again i'm just randomly make up a 32-bit address okay so again this is hexadecimal and each hexadecimal digit is four bits so totally i have 32 bits okay so what do we do all of this address let's convert that back to zeros and ones i have two zero two right four six eight one three four and eight am i correct two four six eight one three four eight okay so this is the address but i only can fit 26 bits but i have 32 bits right so what can we do? Well, we have two assumptions in in order to uh, to trim the number. First of all, we assume that the last two bits are known. So in this case, actually, it's not true. Okay, and this is actually not a good example because for an instruction, actually, the address always start with zero. So let's change that. Okay, so let's change that instead of using a let's use something else just use um c okay so that will make it easier so c would be one one zero zero okay so because the reason why we want to use c is because the address has to end with two zeros at the end because it's word alignment right because all the instructions are four bytes so that's why it has to be a multiple of four so Okay, so by doing that, I can trim the last two bits because the last two bits are always zeros, right? And then, now what happened? What, 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 what about the other four bits? I will trim from the first four. So I don't need this. I don't need the first four. So why? We assume that, so again, for each instruction, there is an address, right? And we assume that the address will have the same four bits because the instructions are close to each other. Okay, so this is the assumption, right? So if these four bits are not the same, you cannot do it anymore. Then you have to use JR. Okay. But just assume that we will always carry the same four bits, first four bits. Now. So which means the label will be not too far away from, from your current instruction. Sounds good? Oh, actually, this is not the PC. The PC should point at here with the address. Sounds good? Okay. So the JAL has its own address. Okay. So I don't know what it is. Okay. But we will assume that the address of JAL instruction will have the same four bits as the address of the label. So this is the assumption you have to make in order to use J or JAL. Otherwise, you have to use JR, okay? Because JR allows you to jump to anywhere in your memory. Okay, so now you have the 26 bit. So final answer will be, again, you have six bits, you have 26 bits, right? Opcode for JAL will be three, okay? So opcode. So I have three, so let's use three, okay? And then the address, right? With only 26 bits. So let's do it. For three, I have zero, 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 one, one. Actually, no, I need one more bit. Zero, zero, one, one, okay? And then the 26, 26 bit address will be this. Zero one zero 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 one one zero one zero 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 one zero zero one one zero one zero zero. Oh, actually, I have two more bits. How 
come up here with this guy. A two more bits, one one, right? So that will give you 26 bits. All right, so we group them. And now your answer will be zero. This is 13, so you have D, one, you have A, you have zero, you have four, you have B again, and then you have three. So your answer will be zero, D, one, A, zero, four, D, three. And that's your answer. Okay, so this is the machine code for JAL and then the label to this address. All right, so that's the end of the video. So again, that's pretty much covers all the instructions that you can translate. So just with your free time, come up with some instructions with different register value or register numbers, and then do the conversion and see, okay? And in a day or two, I'll create some other videos to do it backward, giving you the instruction in machine code. How do you translate that into mix instruction? Okay, so if you have any question, let me know, email me or come to my office hour. Okay, have a good day.